Hello guys, today we are playing an each player free for all match in BFME 1 on the patch 2.22 on the beautiful map all brown lands. Everybody is picking random and we get to play the Isengard faction. <laughs> Oh yes, build me an army, Warfare of Isengard. Okay, so dude, it's been a really long time since I actually played a 8 player free for all. I think it's been like over 10 years. I normally play 4 player or maximum 6 player, but 8 player on this map, which I was using a lot when I was playing 1v7 against hard armies in BFM1, uh, that's gonna be quite fun, I guess. So Isengard is a very solid faction and you have actually a different strategy when you play a free for all match in a map, in a map like this versus when you play a 1v1 match or a 2v2 match so basically everything is adaptive and changing so uh, first things first you have also less available command points so we need to kind of be careful about what units we recruit and how many we can recruit from them at the same time Move your feet. and what i like to do personally is i want to actually recruit heroes in this you know in this version so basically i want to actually grab my settlements early on and then recruit lords and then Saruman before making army because when you get those two heroes early on on the field you can actually stall the game quite nicely and um, you also level them up quite fast so basically if Lord's getting level 5 you have a massive improvement for your army in terms of damage output and Saruman level 8 means more recovery more sustain for the Isengard army which you don't get elsewhere basically evil factions they have no sustain no recovery no wealth and the new update of the patch 2.22 allows Saruman to have like a level 8 ability, the Will of Saruman. And that's very underrated. I mean, it's not as destructive or destruction power as from uh, War of Power from Gandalf, but it's very strong. Trust me, that one. And hopefully, in this game, I will be able to showcase you why I believe this is a very underrated ability. But as you can see we are in the middle of the map so basically we will be attacked from the bottom right bottom left top and top left and top right so we are in a sandwich situation uh, you know this spot is for real men you know what i'm saying real men they are not afraid of opponents let them come my friends the good thing is when you're being attacked from multiple people at the same time you will also be able to collect way more power points than all your opponents and in free for all matches there is one golden rule and the golden rule is you are not allowed to buy a second castle so it means our badrog all alone it can, can be actually you know destroying one of the opponents if we can micro him well especially rohan castle shouldn't be able to survive the insane destruction power of the ancient demon balrog of morgoth our eco is looking good uh, yeah we are kind of trading stuff oh okay i mean rohan was creeping that's why he actually didn't defend this one uh, okay so mordor is attacking uh, rohan is gonna attack the second wheel <laughs> we will not have a good time but luckily here you get also more money so basically your furnaces are gonna be able to produce more money for you and collecting money in an eight player map is way way easier than collecting money in a two player map so the more players are involved into a game the faster you will collect money is you have no chance of going for map control so basically how can you keep map control against eight you know against seven people at the same time that's literally not possible let's use the workers to get some vision control you know to see what this rohan is up to i'm assuming he want to go for the archery range so uh, that's not good <laughs> because cavalry of rohan is just too good so basically if you get elma and theodore on the field on a map like this you have like the mobility advantage you can teleport not teleport but rush to the opposite side of the map in a few seconds in combos they are not as fast you know so you can they are strong don't get me wrong but the scaling is slower so basically you need uh, theodin legolas you know aragorn and then you know move slowly and while you can do that same with rohirrim and rohirrim marches, but in a much much uh, you know faster way we will recruit of course the fighting urukai first the lords you do what I see. And then, right after that one, we will also recruit um, Saruman before going for upgrades. But we need some units, definitely. Luckily, this spot is actually protected by our, by our sentry tower, so Moki cannot mock us. Get out there, Moki. Leave us alone. Okay. <laughs> okay, I mean, dude, you guys attack me now, but you know me, guys. I will take my revenge. 
You know what I'm saying? I won't let this... I won't forget about that. You know, that this Mordor... This Mordor who's attacking me right now, this Moki, will be mocked out first. He will be knocked out first. Okay, I mean, somebody is killing my workers too. <laughs> okay, so we know we have a Mordor and we have a Rohan opening, but we don't know the other five. So that's a giant map. And we don't know what else is going on on this map, but I don't care, <laughs> you know. I need to first of all deal with the problems I have, you know, being around me, if having around me. Okay, so there is a Mordor, or no, that's, I saw, yeah, it's also Mordor, I see you. So we have actually in front of me some Mordor, at the bottom right is a Mordor, and at the bottom left is a Ising, uh, Rohan. Okay, we have a level 2 common, now that's good, uh, very good actually. At this point, oh, there is also a Gondor. I see you, dude. That's what I'm talking about. You see, guys, Gondor attacking us. Rohan is attacking us. And Mordor is attacking us. Oh, the Gondorites. But we have towers. Oh, looks like it doesn't want to overcommit. Those Gondorites, they have no upgrades yet. That means they would be quite vulnerable against my sentry towers. Sentry towers. Oh, here's Gimli. The son of Gloin is on the field. I see you, bro. I like that. Wake up. Oh, okay. We need to now turn and fight because now the towers are gonna support us. Lord is also around. We can shoot him down all the time. At this point, you know, it doesn't matter if you lose units or not. We need to try to get power points unlocked. Can I please finish off this battalion? No. The thing about Lord is if he's being attacked, he cannot shoot anymore. He will actually use the bow as like a, a melee weapon and he cannot shoot. And that's by the way, keep that in mind. So basically, if you wanna be able to get in safety against Lord, and you can only, you know, the best thing that you can do is melee attack him. This way he cannot shoot you. So, for example, you have like two Gondonites, and one of them is very low. And Lourdes is obviously trying to finish him off. What you can do is, while you are trying to get away with the one battalion, the second battalion can actually attack Lourdes and force him to use the bow defensively, which means he won't be able to shoot the first battalion, if this makes sense for you guys. And it can actually be good in many situations to save your battalion. Okay, we have almost two power points collected that will be, of course, used into, into the industry. We need lots of money after Saruman. We need to build the armory, buy heavy armor, uh, banner, and also fire arrows. And we don't really need, you know, we don't really need forge plates. I mean, it's not bad when you have it, but I don't think we need it. Because when we have enough combos with those two heroes, and that's what I'm, what I'm trying to do, right? I'm trying to get my loot to level 3, to unlock, first of all, the carnage. Oh, I see trolls here, Okay. And first of all, I want to unlock the carnage. And after that one, I actually want to go for level 5. So we can have the additional damage leadership. Because when you go play Isengard against Mordor, what you need the most is damage boost. And these orcs are painful to deal with. <laughs> the orcs spam. Oh, a new power is rising. And victory is at hand. A man Saruman is entering the battlefield, boys. That's good. And Saruman is very underrated. Dude, trust me. Yes, Isengard has only two heroes, Lourdes and Saruman, but they are golden. They are so good, you know, especially when you recruit them early on. Yeah, look, you need to understand that heroes are like an investment into the mid to late game, right? Especially heroes like Lourdes. The later you recruit him, the less impactful he can be. Because when you recruit him, if your opponent has already like leadership, heavy armor or stuff like this, you will have a hard time to kill the enemy units. But if you recruit him early on, Killing units is way easier, which also makes it way easier for you to level them up. So the second he gets level 3, he becomes a hero killing machine. You can cripple any hero beside Aragorn or, or Gandalf, and then you can draw... Oh, hold on a second, this guy, Witch King! And you see, he, he, look, but, but you know, watch the damage now from cripple. He even chunks the Witch King, you see that, boys. The Lord is very underrated and very worth it. He's the most cost-efficient hero in the entire game. But this Mordor also killed our full combo battalion. You know? Dude. I will come for you. But first of all, let me finish the Mordor at the bottom right side. That's my go. Oh, here's also a Witch King, dude. Witch King's everywhere. We got attacked, guys, from every location. And for that reason, I want to take care of the bottom right side first. Because when we move forward... Oh my goodness, Saruman. The fireball on your face, Witch King. Get out. No man can kill me, but a wizard for sure can. Saruman. Okay, so we need heavy armor and then we are good to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recruit three Uruks. And if you don't know yet, if you don't know that, basically, as you guys know, I'm trying to make this commentary, you know, when I'm playing the games, as educational as I potentially can. Hopefully, 
watching those games is gonna also improve your gameplay a little bit. And here we will demonstrate you now the power of the speechcraft of Saruman. Oh my goodness, the witch king is coming. Can I cripple him? Lord, cripple. Oh, Lord, you will miss him, Lord. <laughs> oh my, Lord is gonna miss him. Lord, you feel me every single time, unlike Faramir. Faramir is always able to show its quality. So, watch now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get those three Uruks and then level them up with the Speechcraft to level 2. If you use Speechcraft on a crossbow man, they won't get quite yet level 2. And if we, for example, do that now, right? We are actually actually saving us the money for the for the banner. So basically, for each battalion is 300, we are saving 900 by just doing that. And remember, Saruman costs you 5,000. So you already save like a thousand from the initial investment. So using your hero wisely makes him actually bring you money in long terms instead of you know losing you money so now we can combine them and with the three combos we can actually rock and roll we can go inside the jeans and try to finish off the mordor who was bullying us all game long the backside mill of us with his oryx and now with the bitch king i'm coming for you brother i am coming for you Okay, so the, the next goal is that we need to we need to get as many power points as possible. So for that reason, normally when you play Isengard, you want to rush the buildings down. You, you want to defeat your opponent ASAP, right? But in this situation, it sounds like, oh, oh, okay, I see you. The Fellowship is there. <laughs> you know, give me Aragon Legolas. But it looks like they don't want to fight this, which is damn right. We don't want to fight this. Trust me on that one, Fellowship members. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is normally you want to finish off the buildings to finish your opponents. But here we will actually try to kill everything what we can to get the chance to collect as many power points as we can. Oh, Witch King is coming. Take this. Boo. What? The guy's like, no man can kill me. No fire can hurt me. My fireball actually disappeared. Man, did you guys see that? I mean, that actually happens randomly when he's turning his back to you. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Some things in BFME 1 are kind of very strange. Like, you know, and you want to try to implement new stuff, for example, you have quite a lot of restrictions and limitations. So basic... Oh my goodness, don't attack me, please. This fellowship is annoying me. Let's kill this. And once again, we got to try to kill the unit first to get even more power points collected. It would be a dream situation if we can get enough power points to unlock the freezing ring by defeating this Mordor. Okay, so, and also what you gotta do is you wanna keep Lourdes next to your archers. This way you can share experience. That's very important. Uh, leveling up your heroes passively is essential, especially for heroes like Lourdes. Like, you need to have like a milestone. This is the milestone I need to get. ASCP, and for Lourdes, it's level 5. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we have constantly 60% DPS. And also killing the stuff like buildings and units will level up our heroes, our units, I mean, and more levels, the better. <laughs> the, you know, the improvement of a level 1 to level 2 unit is actually insane. Like, the amount of boost you get in terms of DPS and tankiness just from one rank is amazing. That's why also the combat experience leadership from Saruman is actually key. So you get 50% armor and 50% combat experience from Saruman being on the field. Oh, you want to fight this Nazgul? Say, oh, we don't even need to use it, dude. He gets bursted. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. Because of Lourdes. Lourdes, you do what I say. I mean, the problem is we are actually command points kept. So I'm assuming we won't be, yeah, we won't be even able to recruit the rams. We need to go for the siege ladders. <laughs> dude, imagine sieging a Mordor with a siege ladder. How badass can this actually be? But... Ladies and gentlemen, you know, when, when it comes to deal with Mordor in long terms, Isengard's the key. I mean, Isengard's magical weapon, if you want to say so, is definitely and undoubtedly the Freezing Rain. The Freezing Rain says, hey, dear Mordor player, your leader... Oh, another player has been defeated, Groove. Groove has been defeated. I don't know who Groove is, and I don't know how he, defeat, how he got defeated, but he's defeated. It means from seven players we have to deal with, only six is remaining and after now it's only five because also this player has been now defeated one of the rules once again we are not allowed to buy a second castle you can if you want to make yourself opponents or enemies because then those people never gonna play with you again it's like a golden 
a gentleman's agreement rule, you know? Because if you buy a second castle, it's a huge advantage. And, you know, that's not fair. We have work to do. Okay, boys, so we are not scared of Mordor anymore, that's good. Um, that we have actually now the Freezing Ring, that's key. We have also two combos inside the piece. We can group them all together and go now for a massive fight. So the thing is, in long terms, we cannot really attack with our full strength and full army, just because the opponent, you know, when we move out, Isengard combos are very strong, solid, tanky, but they are not very fast. So basically, if we leave our base unprotected, one of the opponent players might actually get the chance Oh my goodness, this army. Warfare of Mordor. Look at this, boys. This actually looks pretty dope, this army. Okay, I see you. Alright, alright. I'm coming for you very soon. So I think I'm gonna actually ignore everything and go for this Mordor. This Mordor looks very strong. And I believe what got defeated was the Gondor with the Gondonites, remember. I think the Mordor player we just saw was stomping him. Because that's the only explanation how those trolls are this highly leveled. And for that reason, before this Mordor gets any stronger. So basically, when I play free for all, I actually want to pick up a, a threatening player. So the player who was defeating one of the players has potentially the most power points. He was even using the darkness very, very recently. So I don't want him to get to the Bal Balrog power point spike, in which he can summon the Balrog and, you know, wipe out either our entire army or actually, you know, the entire beast. So for that reason, let's go all the way to this Mordor. Oh, that's not this Mordor, though. That's not this Mordor. Um, get a different color. So we need to go to... We need to find the right player. <laughs> this Mordor actually already is under fire. Dude, when, I, when we play like this, I actually don't want to attack the guy in the middle. Because the guy in the middle, just like me, there are like two middle spots on this map all around lands. When you are in the middle, you are already in a, in a rough spot. You will be attacked from multiple players at the same time. And for that reason, I want to show mercy, you know, and don't attack him additionally. So he's potentially being attacked from the top left, from the top right, from the right, from the left. So I don't need to attack him as well. So for that reason, let's move now to the top left. Um, we see a Rohan here. Okay. He has Aragorn, level almost 6. That's fine. So we see a Rohan. We have a Rohan at the bottom left side. I don't want to defeat this Rohan at the bottom left side yet. There is one, you know, reason for that. Because he has no cavalry. So his army is not strong enough. And um, when you go combos or arches against Isengard, Isengard can always stomp you in an all-out fight. Because Isengard infantry is just the most uh, reliable one with this much leadership. And also, if you have more leadership than I do, hey, I will just press one button and your leadership is gone. Okay, I mean... Oh my goodness. Dude, the switch kick! Watch, 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 watch! <laughs> Did you guys see this? He was like, what is going on here? You know, with his head shaking around and stuff. I'm gonna just pick the thing to land. Oh my goodness, I killed Nazgus without even noticing it. Look, this Nazgus. We, we just killed the two Nazgus and the Witch King from this Mordor. I think he was not paying attention. Let's use the Will of Saruman for heal. Uh, he was not paying attention, boys. I think he was attacking one of the other players. Maybe this Mordor here. Now, let's actually send random explosive mines on, on somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Just be annoying, be threatening. If they don't pay attention to my explosive mines, or if they accidentally attacked it with a fire arrow, oh my goodness. It's gonna call it GG, GG, my friend. Well played. Sorry that I, needed, that I needed to come to you, but, you know, I need to make sure that I defeat the first player, who is eventually the closest to the Balrog Salmon. And I think it was your darkness you just used, and for that reason, you are the most threatening. Nothing, Nothing personal, way. only business here. Tie your rope, strap it in. Save that one for Victory me. Is at hand. And by the way, thank you not for thank you for not demolishing your stuff, so I can get more power points collected. <laughs> okay, so we have five power points in the bank. We are only fifteen, actually only fourteen away from our Balrog special summon, and that's what we need to aim for. We need to get to the Balrog and bank bank get Chichek has been defeated. Six power points. We're not gonna go for the, for the field of fires. Look our money though. I mean, we are so rich, even though we have not really a lot of map control. That's how much money you get in an eight player free for all match between eight players in compared to a 1v1 match. Oh, good. I'm coming for you, mom. I'm gonna, I wanna save this Mordor actually. I wanna save this Mordor. He's being attacked. Let's go and try to save him. We also sent explosive mines to the spot. Okay, let's place it right here. 
Okay, one of them. Oh my Saruman! Dude, I'm blind. <laughs> oh, this I will revenge you now. I will revenge you. You wanna fight this? My freezing rain is still active, by the way. That's why they have no leadership, and they cannot fight this. When I have, when I have, look, I have right now 110% damage. Aragon, who's supposed to be a tank hero, cannot tank this. Our combos are level 10. So once again, keep in mind what I told you. Guys, <laughs> look at this. Heroes are dying like they are nothing. Eowyn, give Eowyn. Now Legolas, watch Legolas now, please. Watch Legolas now, Legolas. Gimli, oh, Gimli is jumping, but doesn't deal damage. We, have, we are just too tanky, you know? Level 10, more HP, more damage. Look, we are melting him, and our power points are going burr. So we are actually getting lots of power points. We also killed the Gimli. We need to revive Saruman once again. 12 power points. Oh, King Theoden, I see you, bro. Hey, I see you, but will you see me once again, Theoden King? I don't think so, Theoden King. Die. Okay, the King of Rohan is no more. Now we gotta take care of this Rohan before he actually is able to defeat the Mordor. The Mordor is gonna be defeated very soon. <laughs> and I don't want this to happen. There is one reason. Because if I let him defeat, uh, if I, you know, what well, is this English? If I actually get him, uh, let him <laughs> do it. <laughs> if I let him get destroyed, then everybody is going to attack me next. So I want him to stay alive for a little bit longer. And, oh, he's actually shooting my lords. Don't shoot my lords like this. Gets more explosive mines. I don't really know, I don't really do know what I else can do. This guy is actually kind of paying attention to my explosive mines. I want to destroy this. But I also want to make sure that my Lourdes is getting recovered here, you know? He's very low. I don't want to lose him. Let's get more. <laughs> oh, he has also Ballista killer units there. Mordor is recovering. Okay, so we can also make him more units now at this point. And, you know, I think we have reached the point of the game in which we need to make sure that we have some units for the protection inside the castle. You know, we cannot really leave our castle, especially now after this Mordor. I think the Mordor is going to get defeated. Yeah, he got defeated now. Blow has been blown away. And so, yeah, it means everybody. There are two other Rohan players. They will be both going on us now. So only three Rohans are left. So three Rohans against one Isengard. Oh, you have 15 power points. Oh, he destroyed the mine. <laughs> I wanted to go for a sneaky, sneaky attack, but it's fine. We gotta wait for Saruman to be back on the menu, and then we can rock and roll. And once again, I think we need to kind of leave something in the base. Like one or two combos. I don't know how much I, re I, really, need, I really need to actually destroy this. Oh, I'm playing at the bottom left. So I don't know how much he got. We have 15 power points, so that's good. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's go. We have Freezing Rain almost back up, so I'm not scared of his defense. Yeah, Rohan defense is never that great compared to Gondor. So basically, there are no siege weapons besides ends, and I don't think he has ends anytime soon. He has lots of towers, but with this much levels, with this much leadership, we have 100% more armor with Saruman and Warchant. Oh. <laughs> Dude, just like in the Helm Sleep, you know what I'm saying? What, what, guys, what was Aragorn actually screaming to Legolas? Like, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, okay, I see you, you sneaky little guy. I'm coming for you now. Better run away from me, better run away from me. I will, oh, my lords actually didn't even move with us. So I'm gonna cripple Aragorn here, so he cannot move. You shall not pass, Aragorn. So he's locked. And he thinks Aragorn is tanky. He's like, okay, my Aragorn is using Bleedmaster. He's unkillable, but hey, 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 my friend. Hey, hey, hey. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Watch him. Few, few shots. Fireball. Level almost 8. Lords. Dude, nice. I mean, pillage is good, but it's not even needed in this matchup or in this situation because we have just too much money. Mordor has been defeated, unfortunately. Couldn't save him. We are 3 power points away from the breaking point to get a chance to summon the, uh, the ancient demon. And come on. 3 more power points, boys. Yeah, these Rohans, they are not trying to fight against each other, I see. They want to fight against me. I'm down, I'm down. Oh, old versus shanks. <laughs> Do you guys see what they, what they are typing in the chat? Old, <laughs> old versus shanks. Come at me, bro. And this guy is like, I destroyed his teach works. Hey, Melvin. Melvin. Dude, I saw what you did, Melvin. You got Balrog. Hey, I didn't get Balrog yet, but it will be there very soon, my friend. Don't get me. <laughs> Don't. Don't doubt me. All versus Shanks. Or is Shanks versus you all? That's the big question. Let's use the Freezing Rain. No more leadership for your Rohans. And these elves on top of the wall, they are defenseless. 
They can't do anything. The problem is they are very strong. And that's what people don't understand. Guys, levels in this game means a lot. A level 10 combo is basically stronger than three level two combos. Not even kidding you. Without buff, when you put one level 10 combo against three combos level two with full upgrades, everyone has full upgrades, the one level 10 combo would be able to win. That's how important leadership um, levels are. That's why it's also very important to keep your units alive. Don't lose them throughout the entire game. Look, when you do that, you can literally one-shot this Aragorn. And now we have the Balrog special summon. I might be actually using Balrog even on top of the enemy army because he's being annoying all the time. You know, they are actually attacking me all the time. Let's finish off this Rohan first of all. Let's pick the Balrog. Dude, if you give me the chance, I will summon my Balrog on top of your face. I'm telling you. Don't be annoying now. Don't be annoying. Oh, he killed my pikeman. Dude. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, Balrog, you are like a grandmother. Why don't you come earlier? Oh my goodness, that could be actually okay. Vera has been defeated as well. Sorry, my friend, but you gotta do what you gotta do. A man has to do what a man has to do. Oh, look, somebody's lagging out. Look, the demons for three boys, the selfie. Oh, Bank, Bank has, you know, he was defeated already, but I think he was staying in the game as an observer. So basically, we gotta kick him out. We gotta vote him out. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we have the Balrog. We gotta do something with the Balrog. For, you know, for example, to kill the enemy gate. That's what you gotta do. And as Isengard, at this point, it's very important to keep your heroes alive. So you gotta make sure to not risk too much. Oh, the Rohans were about to clash, but my Balrog is here to interfere. Hey, King Theory, look this, look this. <laughs> look this. <laughs> He's like a snake, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> this is so funny, dude. It's unbelievable. Balrog, fly, my friend. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. What did they type in the chat, by the way? I didn't even pay attention. Say all and chains and stuff like this. I didn't read the rest. Okay. Finish off the gate, please. You can do it, Barok. Wait. Pew. Okay, we gotta now go inside the jeans and deal damage to his citadel. He's hiding with the army. We can use the... Oh, this guy, though. This guy's annoying, you know? <laughs> He's trying to fish power points. But I, first of all, I gotta take care of the white Rohan. And then we gotta take care of the red Rohan as last. Okay. Oh, he's hiding his army, but I'm coming for them. Like you see, they are not. Uh, they are not. They are scared actually to take an army fight, which is kind of uh, not very smart. The reason why it's not very smart is because if you know that your opponent has Balrog, that is, you gotta fight, right? You need to force a fight, even if you lose stuff, because the time is gonna favor me, right? I'm the one with the Balrog summon. So if they give me more time, if they don't attack me, but what's gonna happen? I burn Shanks Balrog. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen is that my Balrog is gonna reload while they are ha they have no EOD, right? And for that reason, they gotta force a fight. Even if they lose stuff, it doesn't really matter. I think money is not a problem at this point because everybody has enough money. They, you know, especially when you play Rohan, like you can run around the map, capture every single farm outside. You have enough money in the bank. So you gotta force a fight. What they can do is I have no pikemen. I have like literally one pikeman all the time. You can use the glorious charge. And just before you trample me, you use the Elven Wood. You know, that's a stuff you can do. And you can try to fish my heroes and stuff. You need to get power points. Because killing buildings is not going to give you enough power points to close the gap in the power points department. If this makes sense for you guys. So, long story short, if you know you're opening this Balrog or AOT, you need to be the one who's engaging and trying your best to unlock your own Balrog or AOT. Because the time is going to be with us. But regardless, we're not going to sit in the base and wait for this to happen. We are not a camper. We are a fighter. And we're going to go inside the jeans now, boys. Rohan, Melvin, I'm coming for you, my friend. I'm coming for you. Okay, so our army is looking very strong. But freezing rain is on cooldown, so we got to watch out a little bit. Let's use industry. You know, just why not? Um, can we go inside the jeans? Yes, sir. We can go inside the jeans, actually. Um... Okay. Oh, oh, they wanna Nothing they wanna attack me from behind. All right, I see you, Pikeman. You gotta peel. Oh, glorious charge. Full upgraded Rohirrim. Oh, Alvin allies too. <laughs> okay. Okay, Warchant. He's actually chasing me down. We can maybe use the evil of Saruman and heal him up as well. Okay, let's use the will. Boom, and Saruman is getting like 50% HP back. That's very good. 
You see how they, how fast they can actually snipe down my heroes like that? But we are in a sandwich situation, boys. You see, they are attacking me from both the sides. They are attacking me from both the sides. I get sandwiched. Like shanks in between the bread. Get this fireball. Boom. But Saruman is gonna die. Saruman is gonna die. There is nothing I can do. Like, I'm. what is this? How fair is that? <laughs> this is no team play, by the way. You are supposed to fight against each other, not with each other, dude. Oh my goodness, but my army, look, level 10s. Oh, summoning ants, I see, but hey, 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 are I going first? And then we're gonna, look, we're gonna ta target the ants one by one. You wanna burn them as soon as possible and burst them before they actually get the chance to trample you because ants, they don't care. Like, he's like, that what have you doing? He's actually flaming the other guy like if it would be his ally. <laughs> but he's not your ally, he's your, you know, opponent. Kill him! <laughs> What WTF you doing? Kill him! No, 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 no. Dude, the communication is so funny, you know? Alright, we have all the power points from this spellbook, by the way. Literally everything, even though we don't need that. We don't need the money-making abilities. We have 31,000 plus in the bank. We are the alien mask of the Battle for Middle Earth universe, guys. And my Balrog is reloading close, uh, slowly but surely. Now we gotta siege this Rohan and try to finish him off. Okay, <laughs> dude, but I gotta, I, you know, I need to also be kind of careful, I don't want to lose my high level combos, and also, moving without the heroes feels like a meh situation, I'm also very scared to actually cover this Alvin Wood there with my own tainted the land, just because I don't know if the other Rohan is also like a Eisen 2 tanky, <laughs> and Melvin, you just feed me a lot, guys, my, hero, my units are level 10, my heroes are almost all level 10 too. I have an insane amount of leadership while I'm able to deny all your leadership bonuses. And the, the best thing about the Glorious Charge is that you can trample without getting slowed down. So if you use Glorious Charge but you are not trampling me, it's not very use. Oh, smart move from him actually. Sniping down my uh, Ballista. But I'm gonna bring the big gun very soon. I'm gonna bring an explosive mine. But this is saying level 10s versus level 1s. Yeah, true. That's the thing, you know? You are on, you're under leveled at this point. Elma, you are annoying me. Elvin, you are annoying me too. Okay, you killed my Ballista, but I will take your life for that. Elvin, die. Okay, boys, it's time to get the explosive mine in here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Badrock is almost back up. That's good. I think we're gonna summon the Badrock for the, for, the, for the other player. First of all, we gotta finish this one with the army we have. And Saruman is back on the menu, boys. That's good. Our level 10, White Wizard. Let's spam explosive mines. We have so much money. We can even go for a se second Siege Wars, yes? So let's go for a second Siege Wars also very, very soon. Just to spam lots of Siege weapons to break through the defense and the walls of Rohan. Okay, so I wanna actually kinda distract them while I'm sneaking in the explosive mine. That's what I wanna do. Okay. You cannot fight this. The thing is about the Rohirrim Arches, they are weak against my combos. You know, their weakness is Fire Arrow, and my Fire Arrows are the strongest now with level 10. So long story short, we are extremely strong. We can even take down the Wood Towers. It's only possible against Rohan. You cannot attack the Battle Tower from the trip from the Wall Expansion of Gondor. It's not possible. My Explosive Mine is going ham, boys. It's gonna blow up. Oh, he's attacking me at the same time. I see you. Let's use Freezing Rain to deny him leadership. <laughs> we need to be careful though, I don't want him to actually get the chance to unlock his Eodism and that would be actually kind of disturbing and we might even lose of that because, you know, even though our army is like literally unkillable for them the only way they can kill our army successfully and fully is actually by having the EOD special summon and EOD uh, is like a cheat, <laughs> you know, they don't care about your levels, about your power point, I mean about your Leadership, they don't care, they will just run you down one single time and everything is gonna literally get one-shotted. That's why we need to try to deny them the power points. And guys, please let me know in the comment section down below if you gotta if you see if you like to see more free for all content on this channel. And again, that's the first time we do that actually in a in a each player version. So each player is multiplayer by the way, of course online. So there are no bots, everybody is a player. And you can join us. We play every couple of these. And the best way to be connected with other BFME players. Oh, look, look, he's attacking me. Can I actually attack this explosive mine, please? <laughs> attack this, please. The best way to be connected with other BFME players is to join the Discord. We are also planning to make a tournament very soon for BFME 1. 
So if you want to participate, if you want to be in a in a, a small but you know awesome and friendly community, make sure to join the Discord. You can find the link in the description down below. By the way, it's not friendly, but Melvin has been destroyed. Oh, there was his throw hit him. <laughs> okay. So now, Yoda, baby, it's you and me. You and me. And once again, we are not playing a second castle. We are no cheater. We are playing for a fair game. And if we win, we need to win as a fair player. Oof, but that doesn't feel that fair. To summon the strongest creature. I summon the blue eyes, white... No, it's not the same game. All right, let's use the... Ignite and fly inside the jeans, boys. Oh, okay. I see you. This guy is trying to get the power points, I see. Now we gotta send the army back. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. The thing about the Isengard castle is with level 3 furnaces, it's so tanky. Okay. Oh, he's shooting my... Let's use the breath fire. Okay, we gotta kind of, you know, crush the gate. He's closing the gate. That means we need to use the Balrog for that. So we need to use the Balrog to crush the gate of Rohan, otherwise we won't be able to enter. Let's level them up. Our army is coming. Oh my! Oh, he actually killed my explosive mine. Okay, Balrog, please fly and destroy this gate now. We have still time for it. We have still time for it. You can also, you know, use ignite just before you fly. That means while you, when you when you land, it will automatically be ignited. This, you know, you need to. Again, Balrog has like a very limited time duration. And you summon him, and you know, for that reason, it's very important to actually use the time remaining extremely efficiently. Let's use War Chant here. The Rohan horses are diving into deep. They have no chance. Like, they can literally get one shot at our, you know, our units are just too strong at this point. These are level 10 combos. Oh! <laughs> nice! <laughs> he actually attacked the explosive man. Let's use the Will of Saruman once again for the red glow animation. And, boys, against the power of Saruman. There can be no victory, and that's gonna be a victory situation. The eight player free for all map, old brown lands in BFME 1 on the patch 2.2. If you guys enjoyed this one, if you did, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay beyond standards. And look how many units we killed in this game 579. Peace out.